morning folks, happy Sunday. Today I wanted to, uh, I was watching a video last night on the uh, Trogly channel, I think it is, and he was uh, showing the, the Paul, essentially a, a line of Gibsons made from like 77 to like 83, I think. <clears throat> and I was like, I always see people do the ones on the Paul but nobody ever talks about the SG, which is basically the counterpart to that. And I actually happen to have one, a 79. It's the non-Firebrand series. I think Firebrand was like 81 and above where they actually branded the headstock with a Firebrand. This one just has the gold Gibson logo on it. Um, it's a really cool guitar. It's a, four piece walnut body and the neck is three piece um got the volute on the back there we'll bring it up close so you can see it in a minute um everything stock on it it's got the t-top pickups which are mismatched for some reason they got the zebra in the bridge and the uh, black and black on black on the neck um same pickup though um Ebony fretboard. These necks, man, I tell you what, these necks, there's nothing like them. It's probably one of the best feeling necks of any guitar I got. And that's no joke. Uh, the frets are really low. And I thought at first that they were uh, maybe like on their way out, just super worn down. But after doing some research, it looks like they just had a really wide, flat frets in this era. But I mean, this neck is straight as an arrow. No cracks or breaks or repairs on it. Um, I'll bring it up so you can see it. I guess the main freakish looking thing on it is you see the uh, lightning all over it. So apparently at some point somebody had done uh, what they call high voltage fractal burn-in where they put this uh, conductive solution on the body and you can kind of see they take two uh, electrified probes and touch it to the body and uh, basically the it just spreads out throughout the body burning in this stuff onto the body you can see where the probes touch is where the big kind of dots are and it, he did it on uh, both sides of the body it wasn't the guy i got it from um it must you know obviously before him but uh you know, some people might hate this or whatever. I just, I got a killer deal on this. I traded a, a Rivera era, uh, I think it was a Fender 75 amp head for it that I was maybe into for like 500 bucks on a trade. Um, I did have to, the only thing I had to replace was this uh, uh, truss rod cover. I had to find one on eBay because it didn't, it just had a Gibson one on there, but traditionally they have one that says that the SG on it. You see that uh, five piece headstock, all walnut, it's got the Grover. Um, let me turn around here so you can see the back. I guess I could take it off of my person. You can see the, uh, there's the uh, 1979 there. Um, you can see the Grover Rotomatic Keystones. The volute there. Um, badass guitar though, man. It's super light. It feels like it's just all neck. Like this guitar is just all neck. But uh, I love it. I love the way it sounds. I love the way it plays. Um, I think it's just uh, it's kind of just a unique piece. I don't have the original case for it. That's one thing I wish I had for it. But uh, I did open it up and all the electronics are original, the pots, um, switch, caps, all that. I think in the knobs, however, might, I know it came with black speed knobs, but these ones don't look like they're very aged. So these may not be the original knobs, but whatever. It's got the original, uh, um, what do you call these? strap buttons I guess so I guess you can give a little playing demo I was gonna 
probably run it through my deluxe reverb here and just do some tones. Yeah, I haven't seen much on online about these things, but uh, I really like them. I did a lot of kind of research on a lot when I first got it a couple of years ago. And uh, I think I only found like a handful of other videos that had anybody that had one of these. Definitely nobody has one with uh, burnt in lightning on it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> if you're into that, I guess it takes away from the uh, resale value or whatever, but I don't know. I think it's cool, and I probably won't sell it anyway, so it'll be mine forever. Alright, so we're running through my deluxe reverb. Uh, I'll probably just do some clean tones here. <laughs> for about, I don't know, two, three years now. Ever since I started getting back in the crazy trade game. Um, just thought I would, you know, demo it for you guys and throw it on the channel for those of you who are interested. Anyways, I'm Bo. You guys have a good Sunday. I'm going to go watch the Hawks. Later. <laughs>